What's up guys, it's Chalon Claw here once again. Best CK2 player this world's ever fucking seen. And, you know, we're just gonna continue the fucking dumpstering of Britannia. So, you know, where we're at at this point is, we need to give away Ireland, alright? Once this guy fucking croaks. We're in a war right now, this little shit stain over here. Diary of Diaries host declared a fucking war on me. He's probably going to show up pretty soon. He actually has more troops than I have raised right now. And let's see, what else is fucking going on with our shit? So, we could actually press a weak claim on the Kingdom of Navarra and the Kingdom of Asturias. The problem is, actually, Asturias is actually pretty big right now. So, if we actually... Press that claim. He can only raise 8,000 troops. Looks like he doesn't have all that many allies. The problem is he's 9 years old. And he might actually turn into an adult by the time we would actually be able to take it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon a bunch of troops. And... Let's see, we'll summon Lancaster and Hawaii, so that should be enough to take care of that guy's fucking military when he finally shows up. Let's put this bitch on max fucking speed. And there's his boats. And the fucking, my mayors and shit are complaining about the taxes. I actually need to take a look at my laws here, so... We could bump up the centralization. I'm actually going to do that. Get it over with for now. Going to merge this army. And we, do we actually not have any fucking commanders? So, I'm just going to take my low-ranking vassals and make them commanders. I'm not even going to look at their fucking shit. Maybe I'll make a couple Dukes commanders. The Duke of Munster fucking hates me. I don't know why the Duke of Munster hates me so much. But once I give away Ireland, I won't actually have to worry about him. I could give the Duke of Mercia a fucking commander. We'll give this fucking shitty little Earl over here a commander. And we might actually... So we don't actually have any more to give away. And it looks like these guys have really shitty fucking martial skills. And we can actually righteously imprison the King of Scotland because he is trying to kill somebody. But we're not going to do that. He's our fucking half-brother. I don't know why he actually hates me so much now. I gave him fucking Scotland. So, I actually need to be careful that I don't piss off my vassals too much. Because it looks like a bunch of them are actually pretty ticked off at me right now. And they are ending the plots. So we just need to wait for this fucking shit stain to arrive. Looks like he's over here. So we're just going to go take out his fucking little rinky-dink fucking army. I'm fucking Sphincter Long Qua. I'm the fucking best emperor this world's ever fucking seen, you guys. And it looks like I have a bunch of prisoners still, actually. And that fucking phone again. Alright, so where was I? We're gonna go dumpster this fucking army really quick. And actually, let me see what the fuck's going on up here. So, we can call in some fucking allies. We need to nominate an heir for Ireland. We don't really care about that shit. We can create a bunch of titles. I need to educate this bitch. We'll just choose... We'll choose the King of Scotland, actually, because that way... His opinion will be a little bit higher. And... You know, we could righteously imprison. We actually will give him an honorary title too. We'll make him our designated regent. In case anything fucking happens to me. And you know, we have a whole bunch of shit we could actually get a give away. Let me actually do that really quickly. So the Duke of East Anglia can be the fucking cutbearer. The Duke of Canach can be a fucking whatever the fuck. This guy can be a fucking whatever the fuck. The Duke of Hawaii can be a fucking high almoner. The Duke of York. I guess you can't give titles to little kids, so. 
going to continue this fucking journey up into fucking whatever the fuck this shit is. And my marshal is doing a great fucking job. Gonna turn up the speed a bit. This little shitty army should be getting fucking dumpstered here. My son-in-law had a fucking daughter. And so these guys were matrilineally married. And I don't exactly remember why. But that's okay. And this little fucking army just got fucking shit butt. And that's gonna give us 100%. So we're gonna force our demands. And then... You know, when someone used to declare a, a conquest on you like that, you used to be able to banish them. And it would give you a ton of gold. But I guess you can't do that anymore to get the gold. So now what we're going to do is we're going to disband all our military. So we're not in any wars right now. And right now, you know, my vassals don't hate me too much. So I actually could attempt to claim this throne over here. The problem is he's 10. We could actually plot to kill him, and then this bitch would actually inherit the throne, and that would actually be good for us, because she would probably be around for a while. She's only 24, so we're going to uh, plot to kill the King of Austerius. And there's going to be a bunch of people on board with that shit. And I'm actually pretty surprised that that many people jumped in. We're actually going to send out a couple gifts to get that plot power where it should be. And that's really going to fucking dumpster this little fucking kid over here. And he's going to be fucking fucked. So I may as well just nominate the Duke of East Anglia because he's my heir for bullshit. So I'm going to make him... My fucking heirs. As soon as this guy fucking croaks, we could give away fucking Ireland. And my co-conspirator has bribed the hunter to take him on a trip. So this little fucking shit over here might actually just be fucking dead pretty soon. And it was success. And no one knows of our crimes, you guys. So this is good. We can now actually... I'm actually not sure why we don't have a fucking... Unless this fucking dog shit fucking kingdom. I'm not actually sure how to check its laws. I forgot how to do that. I'm not actually sure what happened over here. Agnatic, cognatic. I'm not sure if that has something to do with... Maybe they accept females or something. Usually you can press weak claims... Against women. I'm not actually sure what the fuck happened over there. So that actually fucking blows. The king of Bulgaria is excommunicated. We can actually declare war on him. So that actually fucking sucks. That's what happens when this game fucking DDoSes you. Alright. I don't know why it decided to DDoS me, but it fucking did. Okay, and that's actually really fucking pissing me the fuck off right now. So, you know, we might have to just fucking claim this shit the old fucking fashioned way. And I'm actually gonna see... I have a daughter over here. I guess my son died. And we have shit launcher. We have this bitch. You know, we actually need to get rid of my fucking wife, you guys. We're going to plot to kill her. You know, she's old. She's not going to be having any children anymore. So we need to get a nice, young, fertile wife so we could hopefully get some more babies. And it looks like this fucking shit stain told everyone about my fucking plot, okay? And that's just fan-fucking-tastic. So I still have all these retinues over here. I'm going to go put them... Yeah, I'll go put them over on fucking Scotland. And they'll form up over there, so... The Duke of fucking whatever the fuck over here... Is still not gonna accept my bastardization. I wonder if I send him enough gold. He does have a little bit higher opinion of me, so what I actually could do... Is... I'm not actually sure how I would... Impre increase my opinion with him because he just owns a fucking barony over here. This is his that he owns a barony in this little shitty fucking shit over here. So I'm not actually sure what the fuck's going on. This guy might actually, you know, get usurped or something. So we're actually just gonna fucking claim it, you guys. We're just gonna fucking de jour claim this shit for fucking glamour again. 
We're going to sell our fucking shit. Have them rendezvous in fucking Wessex. And we're just going to fucking claim this shit the old fashioned way, you guys. And that actually gave us a lot of fucking war score right there. We're just going to fucking siege this shit down. Might be getting DDoS right here. Yeah, it looks like I did get DDoS again, you guys. We actually barely won that. And the fucking bishop just let everyone know about my fucking plot. So as you can see... My fucking bitch is gonna hit- here she is, so she's gonna- She actually really fucking hates me. I might actually just be able to... Request a divorce- I don't know why this fucking pope hates me so much. I guess my court chaplain has actually been... proselytizing shit for fucking ever now, and... You know, maybe I'll say, maybe I'll actually just attempt to fabricate claims. Let's see how strong West Francia is. West Francia is actually not that strong right now. Let's see if I have any fucking claims for this, any claimants that would be willing to join for this petty kingdom over here. And I'm actually just going to fabricate a claim over here. Brittany right here is a small little kingdom on its own. So if I could get all of Brittany, that's a nice vassal to have. And that's, this thing actually put me at 91%. And that fucking autosave again, you guys. Jesus Christ. I would turn that shit off, but this game used to crash a lot. I actually haven't crashed once since I installed all my new computer parts. So I might actually consider turning off the autosave, but that would really fuck me over if this game crashed without the autosave. So that's going to give us 100%. And that's going to be fucking easy peasy. And then we still got this little fucking shit over here. I could just declare war again. The problem is I'd be a fucking truce breaker. And I don't know why this plot isn't fucking going off. I guess what we could do actually. Is we could have a feast here pretty soon to. Make our vassals approve of us. We'll actually have a summer fair first. And we'll gain some prestige, but we'll lose some gold. This guy usurped the chieftain of fucking Stjallan. I don't really know why it's telling me about that. Because that doesn't really bother me. It looks like I'm fucking infirm. So this is actually... This is actually pretty bad, you guys. So I need to make sure that... Whoever inherits... My shit is also inheriting Ireland, and it does appear to be that way. So we might actually be playing as this guy, so... Which is actually fucking great, you guys. Look how many fucking children you have. So it would actually be great if we... And he's a brilliant strategist. If we just inherited into this branch of the family. Because he has a lot of children. They're all about to be of age pretty soon. So that's actually good. Our inheritance is actually really good right now. And this is a benefit to setting up your empire as an elective uh an elective monarchy because you see all these dukes over here that i could choose from except for this guy who's a carlin they're all fucking long claws and it's likely that whoever i vote for my vassals will also vote for assuming they like me enough so you know we really don't have to worry about our own children being our heirs we have the dynasty to choose from and you know if i inherit this i'll obviously be inheriting east anglia so what i'll also be able to do is I'll just be able to give away East Anglia to create another vassal that likes me. We actually don't even have an ambition right now. Ambition, rather. Our only son fucking died. We could actually usurp the Duchy of Dehubarth. And I guess we're actually just going to do that. And now this guy might actually just... He's going to be independent now. Maybe if we send him some gold... He'll be willing to accept that. And now he is going to accept it. Which is fan-fucking-tastic. So he's going to be our vassal now. And what I'm actually going to do... Is I might actually destroy... The Duchy of Dehubarth. Actually, I guess... Yeah, I might actually just destroy Dehubarth. And have these guys just these guys just be shitty little counts for fucking ever. And they're gonna they're not gonna like that. 
But, you know, I don't want little shitty two-county dukes. I want my dukes to be nice and strong. So they approved the high centralization law. And fresh fish straight from the fucking river. And I'm just going to say, because it's either city tax minus 2% or I piss off one of my bishops. So I'm just going to piss off my bishop. And I still have a bunch of shit that I need to give away. For example, I don't need the fucking county of fucking Bedford. And I'm not actually sure what it's a part of. So it's a part of Essex. So what I'm actually going to do is... It looks like my wife is finally going to get the fucking axe, you guys. What I'm going to do is, assuming I inherit East Anglia from here, I'll give away East Anglia and I'll include... Bedford and Northampton in that giving away of that title. And that would give me a strong duke over here. And so we succeeded with the plot. So now we're gonna try to marry a nice young ripe bitch. And this bitch is possessed but she's got pretty decent stats. So we're gonna marry her. And we're actually going to go for the gold, you guys, because that's a decent chunk of gold. And we don't really need prestige. And what we can actually do at this point is we could just upgrade a bunch of our shit. So we'll add a castle town over here. That'll give us more taxes. We'll upgrade the fucking barracks over here. This shit actually needs a lot of fucking upgrading. And we'll even upgrade Middlesex, too. So we'll give them some castle walls. We'll upgrade Tottenham. So we just spent all our fucking gold. But in the end it's going to pay off. And we're actually gaining 40 gold a month you guys. That's actually fucking insane. I'm actually not sure. Yeah my retinues are over here. So I actually do need to summon some more retinues. And I fucking autosave again. But we're going to. I actually didn't set a timer. So I don't know how fucking long this shit's going to go on for. So let me just really quickly set a fucking timer right here. And this guy discovered a fucking plot. This guy is trying to fabricate a claim on Cornwall. We don't really care about that. He's not actually my vassal. So I can't righteously imprison him. And I have some prisoners over here. And I'm just going to release him. This bitch hates me, but fuck it. I don't know why I have a fucking two-year-old imprisoned. We can't really execute. Well, we could execute her, but... Everyone would be pretty pissed off about that. And let's see what my fucking shit's up to. So. We need a new fucking spy master, you guys. Actually, we don't need a new spy master. We could use a new steward. Problem is, we don't really have a good one. Our marshal and our chancellor are really fucking good right now. You know, we're gaining a ton of fucking gold. You know, just tons of fucking plots everywhere. I don't know why I'm getting these fucking shit stains to fucking... I don't know why this guy is giving me notifications about these fucking pagan shits. But as you guys can see, the fucking pagan shits aren't a problem for us anymore. I mean, there's still a problem over here. I don't know why Lotharingia has fucking... I think this is Denmark. I'm not sure why Lotharingia has so much of fucking Denmark, but... You know, they're doing God's work over there. Taking out the fucking pagan shits. And there's a lot of shit going on over here. Looks like they're all getting smallpox. Yeah, everyone's just getting fucking smallpox, you guys. And I actually don't give a shit about smallpox. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to keep summoning a bunch of retinues so that I can have a big ass fucking army so these guys don't actually cost me gold right now only when they're reinforcing right now I just summoned a bunch of them and they're reinforcing once they reinforce to their limit then I won't have to worry about that costing me any gold which is fan fucking tastic and it's nice that these guys will actually take care of the fucking raiders by themselves now because we're remember we're a nice big unified fucking empire you guys we're not you know some shitty little fucking rinky-dink fucking petty king that's 
you know, on his own. We're a fucking empire now. So all of these guys owe me their fucking fiefdom. And I don't know how, we might actually, I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. We might actually just build a plot to kill this guy. And unfortunately, he's not going to be down for that. So we are still infirm. And as you can see, that actually really fucks over my character. And my niece is now of legal age. Might be able to get her a matrilineal marriage. You know, we'll just matrilineal... You know, she's just our niece, okay? She's not the heir to anything. She's actually the daughter of my, of my sister. We're just going to matrilineally marry her off just to get some more children in the dynasty. You know, we're going to give her to this 53-year-old, you know? His dream will finally come true. He's going to pound that 16-year-old fucking pussy back to the fucking Stone Age. Right? That's what he gets for being a fucking loyal courtier of mine. Alright? And it looks like we just got a claim. And we actually got a claim on the entire petty kingdom. So this is the benefit of having a chancellor with a really high diplomacy stat. As you can see, it's 20. That is insanely fucking good. And usually, you're just going to get a claim on a single county. But we actually got a claim on the entire petty kingdom. And it's actually going to cost us... 635 gold and that's gonna put us in some serious fucking debt and let's actually see who this guy's allies are so he has a king of burgundy and he also has the petty king of albany and the king of navarre the problem is they're not that they're not that strong and they actually don't like him that much. So we're actually going to use this claim. It's going to put us into some serious debts right now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to disband these retinues right here. And let me make sure that... Let's see what fucking allies I have. East Francia might actually be willing to... Join all my fucking wars over here. I might actually just improve relations in the south over here and see if I could get some getting good with East Francia. And apparently there's a traitor in my fucking realm. We're just gonna have the Duke be mad at me. I don't want to fucking imprison my marshal. Actually, he's not the marshal, but I'm not actually sure who the fuck this dipshit is. He's my vassal. We're actually just going to fucking imprison his ass. Actually, is he my commander? I'm actually going to make him a commander and let him be because he has a good, a good martial stat. And I'm not sure if... Uh, I didn't actually look at his other stat over here. But yeah, he has really good fucking stats. He's actually going to be a really good leader. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to fucking... I'm not actually sure why... Why I can't fucking declare war. We must have levies. Oh, we're actually bankrupt. We can't declare war when we're fucking bankrupt. So we're actually going to have to wait about a year. Which is just fucking dandy. We have to wait about a year. We're going to join East France's war so they don't get pissed off at us. And what are they actually at war for? So they're just trying to claim a little, a little shitty fucking count county rather and it looks like we're actually going to be incapable so we might actually die before we get to use that claim which would be extremely unfortunate the good thing is we, we gain a lot of fucking money right now so 400 gold isn't actually that much i mean it is but we're fucking rich all right we're the fucking empire of fucking britannia okay Fucking Sphincter Longclaw. And my fucking heir is going to be named Stigand. And this guy just needs to fucking die, you guys. This guy just needs to fucking die. He's fucking 77. Alright. 77 fucking years old. We're fucking incapable. Jesus fucking Christ. Just going to let a little bit of time go by can't even hold a fucking feast because we're not at fucking peace right now because of fucking East fucking Francia and a fucking autosave. So East Francia should just be fucking dandy over here. I'm not actually sure who the fuck 
he's going to war with. I actually don't care about East Francia. I don't give a fucking rat's ass about them. The good thing is, we're going to be inheriting into this guy. And he has a ton of fucking kids. So we're going to use a couple of them to get alliances. A couple of them to get claims. Maybe we'll even try to get a genius in the fucking family. And we're almost back to being positive gold. The problem is I'm fucking incapable right now. And I don't know why the fuck my chancellor just improved a fucking relationship with a shitty fucking bishop over there. We can actually create a bunch of fucking duchies. And the, this guy is a part of the Bulgarian revolt. And he wants to marry my fucking niece. Oh, uh, so this guy actually fucking died. So, you know, he probably got some nice, a uh, nice couple lays in before he died. And he probably just died out of fucking happiness. He probably actually died in the act, you guys. So, I'm going to decline that marriage. I'm not actually sure if this guy is going to win his revolt or not. The Bulgarian revolt. Yeah, he only has 195 troops. He's just a weak little fucking shit stain. And I'm not actually sure. Here she is. So we're just going to marry her off to... We actually don't really have anyone in our fucking court. So we'll invite a couple shit stains. And we'll give her to... This guy over here. I'm not actually sure why. My fucking regent doesn't fucking approve, you guys. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking regents. I'm gonna fucking assassinate this guy. And it looks like this guy's my new regent. He might actually... He might actually be willing to do something about it. If I could just fucking click properly... And this guy doesn't... Jesus Christ, you guys. Okay, you know, we're gonna make this guy a fucking... Special interest. He's actually my son-in-law. Alright, my own fucking son-in-law won't let me matrilineally marry my fucking daughter off. Or my fucking niece. And I'm not sure why we have... This guy, just to keep track of when he dies, I guess. So my marshal's gonna be doing a great fucking job. We really need to be not fucking bankrupt right, right now. And it looks like we're gaining a lot less fucking money for some reason. Not actually sure what happened over there. Probably because we're fucking... And our character actually had a terrible fucking stewardship rating. So when we, when we inherit into this guy... We're really gonna have a lot of fucking income. And our income's back up. I don't know what the fuck happened over there. My son-in-law had a fucking daughter that's fan-fucking-tastic. Hopefully we don't die before we get positive amounts of gold. And then we're, if we end up claiming this, we're actually going to have to go to war with East Francia too. I mean West Francia rather. And looks like East Francia is doing fan-fucking-tastic over here. He actually loves me now because I fucking improved my relations so much. So he will be on board with that war. And he's fucking dumpstering his own war. So this is going to be fan-fucking-tastic. So now we should be able to declare war, unless our fucking regent, Jesus fucking Christ, you guys, so our own fucking regent is fucking us over. This is why you don't want to have a, I thought this guy was supposed to be our fucking regent. He's my dedicated fucking regent. My designated regent, rather. So we're actually going to die, and we're going to lose this claim over here. So the game is just constantly DDoSing me. That's extremely fucking unfortunate. This guy will not accept a vassalization. There's no claimants for Albany. No, we're just gonna let some time go by. We're just gonna wait till my character fucking dies. It should be pretty soon, you guys. And this guy just needs to fucking die. I don't know how this guy has survived until this far. We're gonna improve our... We're actually gonna improve shipbuilding quite a bit, because we will be using some ships soon. How many ships can we actually summon? We can actually summon 260 ships, which is quite a lot. The problem is we can only summon 20 from our own demands. 
which isn't jack fucking shit. Still getting a ton of fucking gold. Need to educate our fucking granddaughter. You know, it doesn't matter who we educate with right now. We actually need to make sure that everyone is a fucking Anglo-Saxon. We don't want any... We don't want any fucking Irish or any non-fucking Anglo-Saxons in our fucking realm. So it looks like they are indeed all Anglo-Saxon. We don't want to be fucking Irish again like that one time. And that fucking autosave again, you guys. Jesus Christ. And we actually don't have enough gold. That was actually such a waste of fucking gold down here. Because our fucking shitty little fucking regent won't let us do whatever the fuck we want. And we could summon a lot of We could summon 20k troops right now, you guys. We can fucking dumpster kids. The realm is doing great. East Francia won their war. Which is fan-fucking-tastic. And they're probably not even going to be my ally anymore. Sphincter's half-brother, Feces, father-in-law. So... This guy is married... To this bitch, who's a princess of East Francia. So, and we're not going to have any relation to this guy. So now, we just died. Alright, we just fucking died. So. And we need to make sure the game is paused. And now what we need to do is. So we just inherited a bunch of shit. Alright. We are now. We are now the Duke of East Anglia. Because that's what this guy was. Stigand. We're now Emperor Stigand, right? That's what this guy was. And it looks like we don't have any true long claws in this fucking bitch. But you know what? Actually, we have a Banana Slam Jamma down here, you guys. We do have a Banana Slam. And we have a Shitlord. But he's actually dead. So yeah, we do have a Banana Slam Jamma. So that's going to be great. You know, she's one year old. But anyway. Let's see what my vassals think of me. So my vassals actually fucking hate me, you guys. And the reason they hate me is because there's a lot of taxes. You know, I ha they have claims on my shit. We really need to survive, you know, another generation. So, for example, this guy right now, he has a claim on the Kingdom of England, so he's going to have a minus 20 opinion on me because of that. When he dies, though, his heir isn't going to inherit that claim. So really, we just need to survive this one generation so that, you know, we don't fuck our shit up. So that they don't start revolting. So what I need to do is I'm going to give away East Anglia. And I'm actually going to include Northampton and Bedford in that package. So I'll have a four-county duke over here. And maybe I'll actually just give it to... One of my children. So I should go over here to the find characters. Search for a long claw. Make sure he's a fucking male. And hopefully we can find one that's just just a little shitty fucking good for nothing. Alright, this guy's pretty good. He has high marshal. He's an heir to the bishopric of fucking Salisbury. This guy actually looks pretty good, you guys. He doesn't have any children or anything. Let's see if we send him a gift, if we could get him into our court so that we can marry him off. He's not going to do that, so we're going to give this guy the county of Norfolk. And then he's going to be our direct fucking shit. And then we're going to give him the Duchy of East Anglia. And I guess this guy's no longer my steward anymore. Actually, that was my own fucking steward. So now he's the Duke of East Anglia. And then we need to give away Northampton and Bedford to someone. Preferably not this guy himself. So that he's not too strong. So that he doesn't revolt against us. So what we're going to do is we're just going to find some random fucking shit stains in my court. This guy looks pretty good. We're going to give him Bedford. 
And, you know, this fucking shit stain over here. You know, he was my regent, but he is married to a long qual. He's actually a fucking orthodox shit. So we're going to demand a religious conversion. And what we'll actually do is we'll just give this guy actually... He's considering another offer from us right now. So we're going to unpause the game. He's going to accept the religious conversion. We're actually going to give this guy Northampton. And his children, which are Long Quas, will end up inheriting into Northampton. So we'll have Long Quas over here. Then we're going to transfer Northampton and Bedford to our new fucking vassal over here. So what that's going to do is, that's going to make him nice and strong, and he's going to really fucking like us. And I need to set my heirs too, and my character is actually already 38. So now if I go over here, the Duke of East Anglia consists of these four counties. He's probably going to be one of my strongest vassals right now. So as you can see, he is my second strongest vassal right now. And now what I need to do is, first of all, I need some fucking counselors. And since all my vassals hate me, I need to choose my dukes to be my counselors. So I'll choose the Duke of Cornwall. The Duke of Lancaster can be my marshal. The Duke of Canach. I'm actually going to not, I'm not going to make the Duke of Canach my steward. I'll make the Duke of Munster down here my steward. I'm not sure why my wife is my spy master. We'll choose the Duke of Mercia. For court chaplain, we'll just choose this shit stain. And as you can see, my fucking council, my counselors really, they really enjoy that, being part of the fucking council, okay? And suddenly, suddenly they like me a lot more. So I'm actually even going to give them honorary titles. This guy can be a regent. I'm not actually sure how to check all my titles over here. This new special minor titles grantable button is kind of new, you guys. So I need to make sure that... We're going to go to... Canatch over here, we're going to revoke his honorary title. He's That's going to make him super fucking mad. But we're remember, we're going to give away Ireland soon anyway, so we don't care if he's too, if Ireland is too pissed off at us. And then we'll find another Duke of ours, the Duke of York, and we'll give him Seneschal. And... Who else can we give minor titles to? The King of Scotland already has one. The Duke of East Anglia doesn't have one, but we don't need to give him one. We'll give Lancaster the fucking cupbearer. We'll give the Duke of Kent, Master of the Hunt. So as you can see, we already took all our fucking vassals. The main vassals that we care about. Remember, we don't really give a shit about the counts and shit. They're fucking useless, you guys. Yeah, they might try to assassinate me, but that's why I have a fucking spy master. We could actually righteously imprison the Duke of Lancaster. And we have weak claims, so we could actually still press that claim on Navarra. The righteous in prison. We actually need an ambition. We'll improve our intrigue. Let's see, is my fucking daughter married? I don't know who this guy is. He's just a fucking nobody. So we're actually going to assassinate him. I don't want my daughter married to some random fucking shit stain. We need to point... A successor. We actually, we actually need to increase the crown authority again. I'm not actually sure what happened there. They're probably going to accept that, but we need to choose an heir now. And I'm thinking that the Duke of Lancaster looks pretty good for now, so we'll choose the Duke of Lancaster, and we'll actually increase the crown authority in Ireland too. And I guess everyone's voting for my fucking son over here. Which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I need to make sure that these guys are educated by me. 
So I only have two sons right now. This guy actually seems to be turning out pretty good. And at this point, it looks like I could, I could actually just claim a shitty little fucking county over here. Let's see if I could actually get Scotland to vassalize. No, he's not going to have any of that. I could just de jure claim everything one by one. But that would be pretty annoying. And there's actually no claimants to Albany right now. So I'm actually, I'm actually going to have to claim this shit. One by fucking one. I'm going to declare war over there. Summon a bunch of fucking troops. And as you can see, I only have a couple counties left. So I actually only have the county of Cumberland left. I guess I'll hold on to that in case I need to give it away to someone so that I can press their claim. And it looks like... All we managed to do was fabricate a claim on a little shitty county over here. And we're actually, we're actually just going to let it go for now, you guys. We'll try to see if we could get a stronger claim. And we're going to deal with Fran or with Scotland first, rather. And I need to make sure that I have some fucking shit stains in command of my fucking shit over here. And this guy is getting fucking shit fucked over here. Yeah, this guy's fucking dead, you guys. I'm gonna chase down his fucking army. And you know, my daughter has some shit going on with her. She's she's gonna gain the kind trait. And really, we just need to fucking dumpster Scotland right now. And it would be nice if, if the fucking king of Scotland himself would go fucking claim this shit. My son is going to get the kind trait, which is great. Maybe I will just nominate my fucking son to be my heir. And he actually has decent stats, and he's going to be kind. The problem is, he's Craven, which is a fucking terrible fucking stat. We're gonna, we got another claim, we're just going to let it go once again. We're going to go siege down Gowry over here. We got another fucking claim, once again, just on the fucking shitty little county. And that fucking autosave again, you guys. Every single fucking year. And West Francia is actually pretty strong right now. But as soon as this... Did this guy actually die yet? Jesus Christ, he's 80 years old, you guys. People don't actually usually live to be that long. He's actually one of the oldest characters alive in the game right now. Of every single character in the game right now, he is the fourth oldest character and that's pretty fucking rare so let's see what weak claims we got going on actually what is our plot right now i don't know why we're plotting to kill that probably because this guy was doing that before we inherited into him and there's still a bitch on the throne of fucking austerius which is now actually just the kingdom of Leon over here. There's no fucking claimants. I wonder what Galicia's got going on. Kingdom of Galicia. No claimants willing to join. Burgundy's a carling. Italy's not a carling anymore. Actually, I'm not sure if Italy... I don't think Italy starts out as a carling. East Francia, Burgundy, and West Francia are all still carlings. So what we might actually need to do is, first of all, let's see if there's any claimants for Italy. There's no one that would be willing to join. We need to marry off some of our children for claims. Actually, we'll probably just marry off all of our children for claims, you guys. And then we'll just choose a different person to inherit. That way we'll have a bunch of claims in our fucking dynasty. So there's a 14-year-old bitch over here. We'll see if we can betroth her to one of my sons. I'll choose my 10-year-old son. That's going to get accepted for East Francia. And then over here in West Francia, looks like we're not going to have much luck with claims. This guy is going to inherit West Francia. So this guy right here will eventually be the prince 
of West France here. So we might actually be able to sneak in a matrilineal marriage. And that's actually not going to fucking happen. So children need educating. We'll just choose my fucking dukes to educate all my children, all right? And it looks like there's actually a bunch of fucking troops. I'm actually not sure why this wasn't on the fastest speed. There's actually a bunch of troops from Scotland. It looks like Ireland did approve the High Crown Authority Law. We're still working on that in fucking Britannia. We're gonna siege this shit down. We could just summon all our vassal troops and siege it all down really fast, but... I'm not sure if that would be in my best interest right now. And I've fallen in love with my fucking wife. We're gonna embrace that love. And that's actually gonna give me 100% right there, because we just actually captured... He was actually leading that small little military right now. And let's see what we can actually do with this little shit stain over here. We could just... Well, we could obviously enforce demands. I wonder if this guy would be upset if we just executed... His fucking father. I wonder if that would really piss him the fuck off. We're actually gonna see... What happens. So that's gonna put us back at 50% war score. And that actually doesn't make him too mad at us. So when this war is over, you know, we'll see what the fuck happens. You know, maybe he will be willing to accept a vassalization, assuming we don't piss him off too much. And East Francia wants to marry this bitch. Problem is, she has fucking claims, so I don't know what the fuck East Francia is trying to do, but I'm not going to allow that shit to happen. And I'm actually just going to... We're going to summon all our shit, you guys. We're summoning it all. We're sending them all over here. We're bringing in fucking everybody. We're bringing in fucking Northumbria. We're bringing in fucking York. We're bringing in fucking Lancaster. Okay, we got fucking Hawaii up in this bitch. We got fucking East Anglia. Alright, we even have Ireland. All of fucking Ireland is rallying to this fucking call right now. And our daughter just gained the wounded trait because she was trying to work on her fucking braidery. So now we have 16,000 fucking troops, and we're gonna fucking... And we got a fucking Cathar heresy in Dorset, alright? So they're Cathars now, which is a Catholic heresy, so we need to proselytize over there with our court chaplain. And we're gonna fucking finish off fucking Scotland with fucking everybody, you guys. We're just gonna seize it all down. The Duke of Mercia just usurped... The county of Warwick over here. We're gonna siege all this shit down. And that fucking autosave again. My son asks, why did you let off that peasant from poaching? And he needed the deer more than me. So he's actually gonna be just and kind, which is great. So that actually kind of makes up for bring, being craven. I'm gonna keep sieging all this shit down. One by fucking one. We're just gonna siege it all down, you guys. This is really going to fuck our military over. And we actually should just be sieging down his capital holdings. Or not his capital, but his personal holdings. And I think that will give us the most war score. So as you can see, this would be extremely annoying if we had to go to war for all of his little shitty counties one by one. So hopefully this will weaken him enough so that my other vassals will want to go to war with him on his own. And as you can see, guys, we just got a claim on that entire petty kingdom, finally. And that's going to cost us 800 gold, okay? But it's going to be fucking worth it. So we're 74% over here. We need to kill this shitty little fucking army over here. Just fucking dog shit. This fucking little shit scene just doesn't know when to fucking give up. We have to siege down all of fucking Scotland, you guys, just to fucking, just to fucking get a shitty little fucking county. And this is just a event thing for improving my intrigue. 
And I really don't feel like reading it right now. We just gained three intrigue, but we lost the honest trait. We fulfilled that ambition. And then the, I guess we could amass wealth. And we need to continue sieging this shit down. We can unpause a fucking game. So we're finally 100%. We just pretty much suicided the entire realm. And we're going to see how this guy feels about that. So we're going to disband all our troops. And he wants control of this county. So that's actually going to really piss him the fuck off right now. And he's actually not at war anymore. He's attacking... He's attacking this guy for Estonia. I'm not actually sure why he's attacking him. But, you know, he is. Alright. And... Italy wants to marry my kinswoman. I'm not just going to marry random kinswoman off though, Because... All he's going to get out of it... Is potential claims. So, yeah. He would potentially get a claim on Britannia. Because she's going to inherit... Through her mother... A weak claim on Britannia... What I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to hold a fucking feast. Try to get my la vassals to really like me. Shit Muncher is now of e legal age. She's not really that useful for me anymore, though. She's just a fucking shitty nobody now. She's just my kinswoman. It's not like she's my daughter anymore. So, you know, we're having this feast. Some children need educating. I'm going to educate both my sons by myself. We'll choose someone else to educate this bitch. We'll choose my wife. And I'm not actually sure why... I can't educate my fucking son right now. So that's Keel Wolf, and we need... This little shit over here to be educated. So now we're educating both of our sons. The preparations for the feast are fucking almost done. The king of fucking Scotland actually doesn't actually like me right now. And neither does the Duke of Connacht. And my DX story actually just crashed, you guys, so... You know, I think I skipped like a couple days, but anyway... Welcome to my fucking feast. Alright. And DX story actually crashes... Pretty often in this game. I'm not sure why. But the good thing is it doesn't actually crash the game. So all I have to do is really open it up and start recording again. And, you know, this guy's not going to like me, but fuck it. Fuck that dipshit. You know, everyone loves a fucking feast, you guys. I'm the fucking emperor of fucking Britannia, okay? And let's see what the fuck's going on over here. I made sure the most beautiful lady would be my dinner partner. And during the feast, I kept refilling both our wine glasses. My charm and my winning smile made it possible for her to stay unresponsive. It didn't take long until she looked at me with more than interest in her eyes. And, you know, I'm going to show her to my fucking bedchamber. I'm not sure actually what the difference is between these two. So there's two duchesses. So there's this bitch... Who is the wife of the Duke of East Anglia. The guy that I just gave everything to. And then there's this bitch who's just a countess. We're going to take the countess. And we're going to try to, you know, fuck the shit out of her. And we'll see how that goes. And my wife is pregnant, which is fan-fucking-tastic. And everyone enjoyed the fucking feast. So that's going to be fucking great. My vassals over time will start to like me a lot as my short reign penalty goes down and turns into a long reign penalty. My son is going to be zealous. So right now we just need to wait for a little bit of time to go by. Then we'll press our claim on this petty king right here. He still has Burgundy and Navarra as allies. Burgundy is pretty weak. This guy on his own is pretty weak. Navarra ain't shit right now. We could actually declare this war right fucking now. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. We actually... We're actually reinforcing some retinues over here. 
And it might actually be in our best interest to wait for that. But actually, you know what? Fuck it, you guys. First of all, we're going to have our retinues down here take care of these fucking raiders really quick. And I actually need to set my fucking counselors up. And is Dorset still a fucking Cathar heresy? I guess my court chaplain died. We don't need this guy fabricating claims anymore. What we actually need is we actually don't have any alliances right now outside of our dynasty. So we're going to... Actually, this was a guy that I was planning to kill. I forgot that... That was the guy that I was plotting to kill. And it looks like we have a fucking Cathar uprising over here. Which is extremely fucking annoying because I don't have that many troops right now. What I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to summon a bunch of fucking retinues, you guys. And I'm just going to let a little bit of time go by. And we got a fucking daughter. And... You know, we're going to name this daughter. I had a list of names, but it's kind of far away from me right now. And I don't feel like picking up. So I'm just going to do the ones that I remember. We're going to name this bitch Funter. Sorry that you have to be a girl, Funter. But, you know, shit happens, okay? Life is fucking cruel, all right? And, you know, I had a bunch of lists. A big list of names. My co-conspirator... Is doing God's work. That bitch probably would have been dead by now if I didn't cancel that fucking plot. So, it was successful. This guy's fucking dead. And now my daughter can be married off now. And hopefully we could get a an alliance out of it. Maybe with East France over here. East France is pretty fucking strong. This guy's got a lot of children. He's already married though. We can't assassinate his wife. Maybe with West Francia. Maybe with fucking Italy over here. Jesus Christ. Can we get some fucking... Some fucking allies? Maybe we'll even get fucking Leon. She's actually weak as fuck right now. We could always go for the Byzantines, you guys. This guy's six years old. We'd have to wait ten years. I wonder if he would even accept the betrothal. He would accept the patrol. The problem is... It's with the Byzantines who are pretty fucking far away. But they do like to help out. And he's insanely fucking strong right now. So, for example, if I went to war with Italy, you know, the Byzantines would probably back me up. But that would... Ha I would have to wait ten years. But I'm actually just going to do it because... Not only will it give me an alliance with them... It's actually a good thing that it would be 10 years from now. Because then my daughter over here would already already be 30 years old. And the likelihood of her having children would be less. Which is fan-fucking-tastic. Got a bunch of weak claims. You know, we're just gonna wait until these retinues over here are strong enough to merge up with the troops that I could potentially raise... Actually, it looks like they'd be strong enough right now. So I'm going to go over here. And hopefully they don't intercept me right here. And my other daughter is of is of age now. So I'm going to merge these troops over here. Go take out these little shitty fucking armies over here. Make sure that... I guess I need to appoint fucking commanders again, you guys. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm just going to make all my fucking Dukes commanders, because that does give an opinion bonus. We'll give Scotland a fucking commander. You know, we're, we're actually going to put Scotland in command of this fucking military. At least one of our flanks. And we got a fucking peasant revolt, you guys. We just got revolts fucking everywhere. And take out this little shitty fucking uprising. This fucking little dipshit Cathar fucking shits, okay? They're fucking dead. The fucking Cathars. And then we're gonna fucking execute them. Or him, rather. They'll teach anyone to fucking fuck with fucking Stigand Long Claw, alright? Then we're gonna take out the fucking Peasant Revolt. And they're gonna get fucking dumpstered. 
And we're going to execute him too. And what I think that's going to do is it might give us a opinion boost for beating a revolt. So we're going to disband fucking everything. So we don't have any more revolts. Our vassal troops are almost fully regenerated. So we're going to be taking out this little shit over here pretty soon, you guys. And we're going to be claiming these three counties for ourselves. The problem is West Francia has the rest of Brittany. So we might actually have to go to war with West Francia. I'm going to let that prisoner rot in her fucking cell because she's a fucking little bitch. And we're just going to keep fucking... Building fucking retinues. And they're gonna keep re reinforcing. My marshal's doing a great job. This bitch needs to be fucking educated. Just gonna keep choosing my fucking dukes. This guy thinks he'd be it. Holy shit, that's actually the best fucking marshal the world's ever fucking seen, you guys. Jesus fucking Christ. I've actually never seen a marshal. And we're going to be pissing off the Duke of Lancaster by doing this. And we're going to see how much this guy increases our levies. But I don't know how this guy... Oh, it's actually because he has... Jesus gives military advice. So I guess this guy has some fucking Jesus in him. Alright. The Lord Jesus speaks to him. So we're going to make him our fucking marshal. And as you can see... He just improved our the amount of troops we can summon. We actually haven't made him train troops yet. And what that should do is boost our fucking levy size by quite a bit. I'm not actually sure how this guy got that. We're, we're going to have to make him a fucking commander. I guess you can't make your marshal a commander, but this guy would be fucking insane. To have in control of one of our armies. And I guess this guy was fucking excommunicated over here. The Duke of Lancaster. So I think it's time where I declare war on this fucking shit stain. You know, he has allies, but I'm pretty much way stronger than him. So I'm going to declare war. I'm going to summon all my shit. Alright. All my fucking shit. We'll put him in Wessex. And then what we need to do is we need to summon all our fleets. And we'll send them to fucking Wessex too. And we're fucking moving out Britannia, you guys. We're going to be fucking dumpstering this little shitty petty king over here. And it looks like this guy's actually a heretic. And since we're not at peace, we actually can't ask him to... That guy's going to gain... Our son is going to gain content. We can't demand a religious conversion because we're at peace. But that's okay, you guys. He's a fucking 37 fucking martial fucking character, alright? And we're going to we're gonna put Scotland... We're actually going to put... And these guys have high defense, but we don't want just defense. We're actually going to put myself. Actually, I was already in command of the middle flank, so. I need to choose characters that have good fucking stats. I'm going to embark this fucking army. And this is a big ass fucking army, you guys. We're going to land in fucking Francia. This guy's trying to kill somebody. We don't give a shit about him. Is this guy finally fucking dead yet? So, his father did finally fucking die. So, what we're going to do now, finally, you guys, is we're going to give away fucking Ireland, all right? So, Ireland is now its own kingdom. Maybe I should have just given it to fucking Dublin that whole fucking time. But you know what? Ireland is now our own little vassal, you guys. And from Ireland... I'm not actually sure if I can raise troops right now. Because I already have them raised. 
But now when I raise troops from vassals over here, I'll just get one stack of troops. So it'll make it easier to manage. And we have more fucking heresies. Now in fucking Cornwall. So door set. We have some shit going on down there, actually. So we're just going to quickly siege all this shit down. We're a little bit above our supply cap. It looks like Ireland is, you know, doing their fucking tax exemption. I don't know why he just fucking exempted taxes, actually. And I need to see how much I'm making from Ireland. I'm actually not making jack shit from fucking Ireland over there. He probably did that just so his vassals, you know, like him. We're just sieging down all this guy's shit. And my fucking counselors keep reminding me that that guy's a fucking heretic. I guess I made a culture, a culture cry. We're gonna gain the kind trait, which is gonna be good. And we're just quick sieging all this shit down. My beloved daughter still needs to be fucking married, and it looks like we could actually have the king of fucking Bavaria. He's 13 years old. I mean, he's kind of weak. We're patrolled over here. It's just going to be an alliance, so we actually don't really need an alliance. Actually, we can matrilineally marry her to the prince of Bulgaria, who will inherit a claim eventually. The problem is Bulgaria is all the way fucking down over there, you guys. And I'm not actually sure that we would easily be able to take control of this shit. He doesn't have that many allies. And it's also a part of the Byzantine Empire, so they would try... If I ever got control of Bulgaria... You know, they might eventually go after it. And it'd be really hard to defend all that shit down there. So, I'm not going to do that. We're actually just going to finish this fucking war off over here. Siege all that shit down. Go over here. Fucking siege it down. Just going to fucking siege it all fucking down. And that fucking autosave again. If you guys ever seen Lord of the Rings, you know in that part where, you know, they're shooting down those giant fucking elephant things in the third movie, and you have that king guy, he's screaming, bring it down, bring it down, over and over. I always say that to myself in my fucking head when I'm sieging down fucking shit in this game, you guys. And, you know, we're finally almost fucking done over here. And I don't know why we're just at 99 fucking percent. Looks like he's actually just going to surrender. And yeah, he's just going to surrender. We're going to gain this petty kingdom. And let's see. We could actually, yeah, we could press de jour claims on Francia. And we need a new steward. We'll give this guy the Duke of Lancaster the stewardship. Title loss on succession. I guess that... Brittany is also an elective fucking shit over here, so what we're going to do is we're going to give away Vannies over here to a long claw. Just a shitty long claw that has no claims, has no fucking, you know, maybe we'll find a better one that has a higher, a higher martial skill. This guy's heir to a fucking bishopric. This guy's a prince of Scotland. We'll actually give it to the prince of Scotland, you guys. He won't be inheriting Scotland. His brother will be. And he he's pretty good. He's, a he's actually attractive, so... That's actually going to be good for... You know, because if we give him the petty kingdom right here... First we're going to give him this county. And then we're going to give him the duchy... And the reason why it's good that he's attractive is because he's going to be an Anglo-Saxon, all right? And his vassals aren't going to be Anglo-Saxon. So, for example, this bitch right here, 
she's in Akatan, whatever the fuck that is. So, this bitch right here is gonna like him because he's attractive. Attraction to gregarious and attraction to attractive. So, that's actually good for him. So, if we would have chosen a normal dipshit, this bitch would actually hate him. And that's good that his vassals like him because, you know, we don't want them revolting yet. And now that our shit's over, we can disband all our shit. Disband all this shit over here. And eventually we're going to have to go to war with West Francia for all that little shit. Which would be extremely fucking wrong. We actually have this guy over here who has a weak claim on West Francia. The problem is West Francia is strong as shit right now and he has a ton of fucking allies. But we're going to invite him to court anyway. Just in case we might end up using that weak claim. Let's see what claims we can actually press. We could still press Bavaria. We could press fucking the Barony of Mordor, you guys. So fucking speaking about Lord of the Rings. So... You know, it may not seem like we've accomplished much, you guys, but this game is actually a really slow game to play. And I don't really have... You know, we could just fucking clear this fucking little shit stain over here. I don't know how he has the fucking... I guess he's got the fucking Pope under his fucking belt. And maybe we could actually just go after Burgundy, you guys. Let's see if there's any claimants for fucking Burgundy. There actually is a claimant right here. He has a weak claim on Burgundy. We'll in he actually has a weak claim on Lotharingia too. We'll invite all these weak claimants to our court. And then what we'll just do is actually the problem is these claims won't be inherited. What we could do is we could find a claim that would be inherited and then matrilineally marry him into our dynasty and then press the claims. You know, some of these guys might be willing to join our court. For example, this bitch right here. She actually... Doesn't have the power to decide for herself. This guy could join our court. If he liked us enough. And he's actually going to accept. So we just got a fucking weak claim on fucking Italy to join our court. He's gonna accept it. We're actually gonna mark him as special in interest. And I'm not actually sure what the fuck's going on over here. There's actually an Irish revolt going on right now. So... It looks like Dublin is actually... revolting... for Ireland. And the problem is, actually, his heir is a long qual. He actually is a long qual. I'm not sure why when it said of some other fucking house. So, you know, whatever, you guys. What fucking ever. He's content. I don't really care who becomes the king over here. They're long quals fighting each other. At the end of the day, they're all my fucking vassal. They're all my kinsmen, so... We're just going to let them figure their own shit out. And what the fuck is his vassal inheritance? So, I guess this bitch's vassal is some dude over here. And that'd actually be extremely fucking annoying. We need this bitch to have a fucking child fucking pronto. And so, yeah, we have this fucking guy over here. The next step would to be assassinate his wife. And my son just become, became of legal age. He's a misguided fucking warrior. He can now marry the princess of East Francia. Which is great. So when her father dies, she'll have a weak claim on East Francia. And it looks like the fucking plot to kill that bitch is pulling through for us. We're going to see how it goes. And it was actually successful, you guys. So she's dead. People still upset about appointing a heretic. You know what? Fuck this marshal, you guys. 
This guy's a fucking dipshit. You know, we'll just choose the Duke of East Anglia. And so now that we killed his wife, what we're going to do is we're going to matrilineally marry him to one of my daughters over here. We'll choose this bitch. Aethel Birth. So we're going to arrange a marriage. It's going to be matrilineal to Aethel Birth. And since this retard joined my court, I kind of have control over this. So now, any children that he has will be of my dynasty. And we're actually going to assassinate his daughter as well. Because she's not a long claw. And we don't want any fucking shit going on over there. Because when we eventually, hopefully, take Italy... We don't want that bitch fucking with us. Look, look, looks like my wife is pregnant. So this guy hopefully is really going to pay off for us, you guys. And it looks like we could declare war for the kingdom of Pomerania. Which is over here. And does she have any allies? She doesn't really have any allies. She's pretty weak. Who would we be claiming it for? Just a random fucking courtier. And I'm not actually sure. I can't actually give her a fucking title because it's just agnatic. We actually need to make it... Cognatic. Maybe not absolute cognatic. We have unlanded sons. Vassal inheritance warning. We could press de jour shit. Our vassal levies have been raised. We could grant some fucking titles. We could create some fucking titles. We can press some fucking claims, you guys. Child Hall, best CK2 player the world's ever fucking seen. All right. And Jesus Christ, we have these fucking Cathars fucking everywhere. So these guys are back to Catholic. We need to find the fucking religious map mode. So, we have some fucking... We actually have some fucking pagans over We actually have some Germanics. Yeah, we have some fucking pagans over here. Is this guy a fucking pagan? No, I don't know why there's fucking pagans over here, you guys. But we need to fucking take them out. We have some Cathars over here. We have some Waldenesians, whatever the fuck, over here. We have fucking pagans over here. So we need our court chaplain to really deal with that shit. Alright. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. So, you know, what we accomplished, we, you know, we inherited... Some fucking shit with this guy. Much better stats. Much more children to really marry off and get claims and hopefully get some alliances. We finally got rid of Ireland. You know, we got a little shitty county in Scotland. The problem with Scotland is that we need this guy to get his own fucking initiative to go fucking conquer shit in Scotland. Because he is the king of Scotland. He could de jour claim. He could declare wars on... The petty king of Albany over here. And he's weak right now. He only has 900 fucking troops. So we did that. You know, we made sure that all our vassals still approve of us. Alright, we have another vassal king now. So we have two vassal kings now. Scotland and Ireland. We got the petty kingdom of Brittany. Alright. We matrilineally married a prince of Italy into our dynasty. So potentially, we'll be able to... Get Italy under our belt. We'll be able to press that guy's claim on fucking Italy at some point. For example, if this guy died. When this guy dies, he's 52. The king of Italy. When he dies. His fucking son. Actually, never mind. Forget everything I just said. That's not going to work out the way I was thinking it. So. You know, we're also going to have claims on. East Francia. So we're going to have claims on Italy and East Francia that we could potentially take advantage of. And we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with the Carlings. We're going to have to get an alliance with West Francia, I think, for now. We're going to have to suck up to him. We're going to have to kiss his fucking asshole, send him some gifts. Then we're going to have to go to war with the Carlings over here and get this Carling to have our fucking black. Okay, so once again, Child and Claw, best DK2 player the world's ever fucking seen, signing out.